But today we're gonna mix it up a little bit. It's uh, another cool morning in Central Florida. Got the dog with me. Got the boat on the back. And um, I haven't been to Lake Kissimmee or the Kissimmee chain in freaking, God, it feels like ages. I shot a video out there called Matted. Uh, that was kind of like a three day trip. This is just me sneaking up, getting a day out on the water. Uh, it's supposed to be a little bit of a hydrilla bite, so I'm gonna flip some mats, maybe uh, look for a few brush piles, maybe fish a little bit of shell even offshore. We're still kind of in that, that transitionary kind of period, but um, there's some giants in Kissimmee. Uh, the water's a little bit high, which might spread them out a little, but uh, we're gonna get out there, go out of camp, man, and uh, see what we can do. We're headed out here, uh, out of Camp Mac. We are going to go try to flip some mats. A little bit warmer morning than the past few, and uh, we'll see how she goes. So it's like 10 o'clock. I haven't even caught a fish yet. I flipped some hydrilla mats um, that looked really good. And uh, they didn't put out, I missed two bites, but if they were fish or if they were bites, they, they were probably pretty small the way they feel. But, um, so kind of a weird deal. So I rolled up in this area, you see, this is actually where I shot that matted video. And I've stopped back here like a couple years ago once and then like last year once. And it sucked, it, it didn't set up right. And I'm not saying it's going to be good right now, but I didn't turn the cameras on, and it doesn't look perfect, but I just, like, pitched to a freaking chop grass mat, like, plunk, plunk, and, dude, I lifted, I'm like, wow, that feels like a fish, and it was like a two and a half, three pounder, and it come off. So, um, I got my power pole down. I'm going to pick up the flipping stick. There's not as much here as there once was, but we're going to do some exploring because it's very hard to see the stuff that I was targeting. And, um, you know, we, we had a couple fronts. Chop grass is usually pretty good because it warms up. And it's like dead stuff, so that dead stuff keeps it a little bit warmer. So we're going to give it a shot. And this is one of the only areas I've seen that isn't choked out with hydrilla. So that makes it a little bit unique. So let's see how this thing goes. Dude, they're like moving the pads before they eat it. Like I see the pads go shake. It's like a two tune change. But like I'm pitching in and I'll pump it a few times. I'll see the pad shake. And then right after that, there it is game on. I just wonder if there's big ones in here yet. Cause it seems like it's a lot of males. That's a good start. He shook the whole pads and everything. Interesting. Things are getting interesting very quickly.
definitely worm fishing. A little bit better. Keep getting bigger. This slip, in, it's kind of an interesting deal. So there's some offshore hydrilla. It's not super offshore, but it's like eight, seven feet of water, which is pretty deep for Lake Kissimmee. And I couldn't catch them with a, with a one and a half. So I actually changed over to a one and a quarter. And what you really have to do is you pitch it in there and just free spool it to the bottom. And then you reel up. You don't actually feel the bite, but you reel up real slow. And if you feel weight on there, you set the hook. And it's it, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's what I used to do up when I lived around Gainesville and fish like Rodman and Russo and we'd flip hydrilla in 16, 12 feet. And um, you really got to reel down on them, otherwise you don't hook up with them and you don't actually feel the fish. So, kind of a cool bite. Let's see if they get bigger though, because I think these are staging fish that are headed in. Solid two and a half, three pounders, man. And they're getting fatter. Look at how fat. So it's midday. I haven't caught anything big yet, but I got on a stretch of um, kind of like offshore deeper hydrilla and um, I caught a bunch, probably caught 10 or so. Um, just kind of pitching it through the mat and, let, and free spooling it down. It's like eight or nine foot. And they just whoop, and you reel up and freaking it's great but no big ones um biggest i caught was maybe like three three and change so i'm gonna make a few changes i think i could go back there and catch some fish because i got it kind of dialed in but i'm worried they're all smaller so i'm gonna go check some of the old stuff that um that i used to fish out here and i also know a couple other places where there's some hydrilla like that so maybe there'll be a different set of fish in those in those areas just because they're in a different place maybe they're at a different point you know a little more in so we're gonna cruise and uh see if we can smash some big ones on Kissimmee. <laughs> big ones so it kind of didn't come together but I haven't been on this lake in God, almost like a year and a half so I'm not super disappointed you always want to catch giants but did figure out a couple things um they're starting to come to the mats uh, they're kind of moving into spawn but there's still a lot of fish out deep or offshore um, I caught some fish in some deeper hydrilla which was a really cool bite um, we really had to go a little bit lighter which is weird but they're that one and a quarter you just pitch it in there and you free spool it and when you reel up just feel for weight and set the hook if there's weight i um, wish i would have caught a big one like that even catching two and a half like that was like a workout so it's kind of cool um also caught a few in, in some mud mats out here um we had some really cold weather a couple days ago and you just pitch the holes in the mud mats and um, punch on through the water stays warmer under those mud mats just like it would like a, a chopped grass mat or a dying or a dead mat so all in all, fun day. Got to bend the rod on some flipping fish. I'm gonna definitely come on back because it looks like Kissimmee's setting up to be a killer lake this year. Uh, the water's really, really high this time last year and it kind of made things a little bit weird, but um, water level's getting right. It's laying out pretty good. There's, there's a lot of hydrilla, but that'll die off gradually and it'll actually kind of form into like really good stuff, like little isolated patches. But fun day, I'm gonna check out um, when it's starting to blow and I still got about an hour and 35 minute drive home. So, hope you enjoyed it. It was fun for me. <laughs> Tight lines, guys.